Coach, what made Trace McSorley such a great college quarterback? I love Trace McSorley. Uh, here's the way I was looked at uh, recruiting quarterbacks, and this is true in my very strong opinion from high school, college, to the NFL. The number one characteristic of all great quarterbacks is they're elite competitors. They win at all costs and everything. Number two, are they tough? Are they tough guys? You can't be a spandex quarterback, I call them, and sit back there. Yeah, to, to win a big game, national championship type game. Number three, are you intelligent? Do you have leadership skills? Number four, and then number five, can you escape and make something out of nothing? Trace McSorley is five for five, mm -hmm. and he had big games against us, and I just think he's an elite competitor. Let's take a look at some of what you're talking about. Well, the first play here to me just is the epitome of the first uh, characteristic of a great quarterback. Are you a competitor? And this is a design quarterback run. There's two things that this, first of all, they score. Second of all, these offensive linemen, everyone else sees the competitive spirit of their quarterback, their leader. And here he goes, and most people would go down, he launches himself <laughs> in the end zone. I mean, you talk about instantaneous respect right. amongst the most important people with the offensive line. All right, Jerry, here's our quarterback, Trace, and here he's getting a play. This is fourth and seven, but down by four, and there's four seconds left to go in the game. Iowa's showing a potential 41 and 44 are blitzers, and he only is going to have a six-man protection, only one, two, three, four, five, six guys to protect. He's going to have to determine which guy's going to come, so this is the football IQ. He determines, because of the contour of the secondary, this guy's the blitzer. Now, if you watch him, he changes the protection, slides the line to our right, Right. his left to pick up the pressure. And then his fourth and seven, I know it's a little awkward throw, but he sees his tight end get open quickly, releases the ball for the win. Wow. At Iowa. Last, last play of the game. Last play of the game, look at him celebrate. What do you have here? My man, Trace McSorley, obviously got a great tailback, but he hands it off, it's a true give, they give the okay. tailback. Instead, most quarterbacks take two or three steps and stop. Stop. <laughs> Every coach wants to have a player finish. Look at this finish. Put that clip, put the blazer on it. Where is it? Run it back. That's the starting quarterback. I am going to run it back for the people to watch this darn thing. This is the quarterback. <laughs> All-American quarterback leading Saquon Barkley in the end zone. When I saw number nine coming down the pike in a few games, I didn't want to play him. So, Coach, that's a great look at Trace McStorley. So, so what's the advice that you give to a player like Sean Clifford, who's going to take over for Trace, taking over for this great player. How do you help that player? It's a tough duty. Uh, but I can give you the recent history of Ohio State. And that uh, young guy named JT Barrett took over for Braxton Miller, two-time Big Ten Player of the Year. And then a guy named Dwayne Haskins took over yeah. for JT Barrett, a four-year starter, three-time captain, and obviously an excellent player, excellent leader. The advice that I always give is you have to be yourself, but you got to learn from the great leadership and the great skill set that the guys have before you. You're taking over for one of the best quarterbacks in Penn State history. You need to be yourself. However, learn from the great qualities that the guy had before you, because I don't know Trace very well, but I, there must have been incredible presence. Learn from that, but you got to be yourself. What do you know about Sean Clifford? Yeah, I know we recruited him. Uh, he comes from one of the best high schools in America, not just Ohio, St. Xavier High School. His uh, high school coach and I are very close. His name's Steve Speck. And he rated him a 10. I always like to, because you get coach speak sometimes. Right. Give me one to 10, leadership. Right. One to 10, toughness. One to 10, competitiveness. Those are the three most important intangibles. And what did he say? 10, 10, 10. 